My ways too small, my face too cute, my game too strong, your man too close, he on my phone about these bills. Put mommy on the phone, he ain't never coming on. Look, I'm about to go in, I'ma get inside, he bitch your head like a sewing. I'ma lace the track in the front, make it blend in, pull that shit back so the glue ain't showing. Torres, for some reason, girl, not me personally, okay, because I hope you're showing up for me. I hope you're attending this session. I feel like you've been a little bit hard to get a hold of, okay, D&D &D type shit. We are here for your last monthly reading of the year of 2023, okay, seeing what's going on with your life, excuse me, as we exit this dumpster ass year okay 2023 was not one of my best ones okay not one for the bucks not one at all okay so maybe you feel the same way all right we're going to be seeing what's going on with you in the month of December. Any placement of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, North Node, and South Node placements, and anybody who would like to be nosy. Because trust me, baby, they in here. Okay. Um, discount promo sale is going on for my monthly readers. Check that out while supplies last. Okay. Um, contact information and my other reading options is in the description box down below. All the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. If you haven't liked the video or subscribed to the channel yet, you want me to beg you? No, play. <laughs> please do so if you haven't already. Uh, we do have some planetary activity happening in your sign, Taurus. Um, a big planet that was retrograding in your sign will be going direct at the end of this month on the 30th. And it is the planet of Jupiter. So, Taurus, if you've been feeling as though you've been wanting more out of life regarding career, expansion, um growth uh, but you feel like there's been a lot of obstacles you've been um running into well girl it's done okay maybe you need to learn some lessons maybe you need to have uh you know yeah i'm i'm hearing that some of you guys might have had to go through some lessons or find out things the hard way before you um really went full force and pursuing these things that have to do with like i said career and expansion so, Taurus, let's go ahead and pull three zodiac signs to see what placements you guys might have. Who could be around you during this time? Who could be being nosy? We know that's a thing. And then we're going to pull uh, one more. Edding, thank you. We're going to pull one monthly Oracle message card to see what your overall energy is for the month of December. Spirit, guys, what zodiac signs can. Re yeah! Drop the few people, have we? Taurus, you might have recently dropped a Virgo or Aries or a Virgo and an Aries. I see that you all you also could have dropped a Gemini, but they acting like they the ones that dropped you. Okay. It's one of those little fuck you then, bitch. It's, it's giving that. Okay. You're not giving them no attention, so they refuse to give you any attention. Sorry, guys. What's all that signs can resonate with this Taurus reading? booty up with this Taurus reading for the month of December in the year 2023 all right so there could be a Scorpio in the background um this could be someone that you have decided to distance yourself from someone in your driveway just someone that you put in your rear view mirror okay but they're still it's like a motherfucker, uh, what, what, what's that shit called? Tailgating you? Riding your ass on the highway. Virgo, Gemini, and looky here, Taurus. Now, y'all know whenever I pull the Zodiac of the sign that I'm reading for, that means you can have any placement of said Zodiac and some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. So, any placement of Taurus, all are welcome. All bulls are welcome, okay? What's the placements, y'all? What's the placements? Big three. Okay. Some of you guys might have one of these placements in your big three. So your sun, your moon, or your rising. You could have a sun or moon rising in Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, or Taurus. And some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. So here, guys, what's the overall energy of the Taurus zodiac? Oh, 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 oh. Not me talking shit about a Taurus and their own reading. Karmic feminine, toxic woman fell out, and it fell out on the Taurus card. So there could be some toxic Taurus women. I hope you ain't in here, girl. Exit the building. I don't want you to hear this unless you want to. 
all right? Or Taurus, I could be warning you about a toxic uh, woman around you, okay? Spirit guide is showing up on the bottom of the deck. Uh, some of you guys could be being shown who this individual is, okay? It's like you ever... Um, it's like you see someone do some fucked up shit to somebody else. And you're like, eh. or you hear about somebody doing some fucked up shit to somebody else. And you're like, ah, uh, well, excuse me. I don't want to, you know, make assumptions or hop on a bad bandwagon of, you know, not fucking with this person because they haven't done anything personally to me. That's what it's giving. It's like, you might not see someone for who they truly are when you first interact with them. Um, You might hear stories. You might hear from other people with them having issues, but you know, you might just want to give them the benefit of doubt and see how you feel about them personally. And then voila magic. The stories are true, bitch. Let's see. Spirit guys, what's the overall energy of the Taurus Zodiac in the month of December of 2023? You know what you should do? You should go check out the Scorpio reading. Ah! But I say that because spiritual test was um, their overall energy for the month of December. Ew! <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Ex lovers. So some of you guys in the month of December might be facing a spiritual test in regards to an ex, or some of you guys have already faced a spiritual test in regards to an ex. So why would it be coming out if you already done it? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hold up, girl. Okay. Spirit guys, what's happening? Oh, 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 okay. Temperance. <sighs> Using what you have to get what you want. So doing your best to be resourceful in the month of December could be what temperance is all about. This is definitely a spirit guide card, which is what came out earlier. Um, and you had a spiritual test being your overall energy. So there is definitely some, sp some strong spiritual energy showing up for you in the month of December, Taurus, okay? Um, I'm seeing there's a there's a there's an urge a need for you to I'm hearing like make things right. So anything that you need to check up on, catch up on, handle, take care of, this would be the month the month to do it. Almost forgot to tell you, the infamous, the notorious, the legendary Mercury retrograde will be stepping foot in your town during the month of December. So it could have something to do with that. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Taurus Zodiac in the month of December of 2023? Ten of Swords with the King of Pentacles. Men, what's over? I see something either is over or needs to be over for you. Three of Pentacles, hang man, the three of cups. Some of y'all, this is certain relationships. You need to stop entertaining being involved in certain relationships king of pentacles three of pentacles hangman the three of cups it's like if these people ain't going nowhere i don't know why you around them some of y'all see this could be the case with an air sign specifically gemini a fellow earth sign like a capricorn or virgo because that card is out here or water sign, Cancer, and Scorpio is out here. Some of y'all, this could have already happened. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if y'all can see it in this card, but this lady is crying. Crying about something being over. So, some of you guys, it could have been, you know, it could have hurt the way something ended or you having to end something with someone, but it was probably for the best. Can't do this no more. You see how many swords she got? And that, that's too many, okay? It's like you giving this person too many chances. You've been you've been down this road with this person too many times. So here, guys, what's happening to the Taurus Zodiac in the month of December of 2023? Okay. Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. So for others, I see some people here quitting a job and getting a new job. 
King of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Hangman, Three, because I will no longer be continuing my employment here. <laughs> That's what I heard. I will no longer be continuing continuing my employment here because with the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, I have received an offer. They called me, bitch. Okay, they said, we want to know when you can start, okay? And with the Ace of Pentacles, this is truly a good opportunity for you. Yes, I like it for you. Congratulations. Be careful about who you tell your good news to, girl. It could be this or it could be anything that's going on in your life. Be careful about who you tell your good news to. Five of swords in the sun card because you're going to have some hating ass bitch outside got something to say. Okay. Who ain't even got shit going on? Queen of swords in the tower card. How could you? Like, have you no shame? It's like someone that tries to find the negative in every sort of situation, even a situation that has no negative, okay? You get a new job offer. Well, I hope they treat you right. I hope it's a good job environment, you know. God, don't get too happy. It might not be what you think. It's like a bitch can't tell you congratulations. She got to automatically start hating. It's dead, okay? Some of y'all might experience uh, or exp or have experienced this with somebody she used to deal with, um, any sort of connection. Heavy on the air, Gemini, Libra, probably Aquarius. Uh, actually, I don't, well, yeah, Libra, Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Capricorn, and Aries, a Leo. Spirit guys, what's happening to the Taurus Zodiac in the month of December of 2023? Three of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, some of y'all, this is some sort of financial offer, opportunity, venture, project. Mm-hmm. Emperor, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and the Strength card. We need someone like you. Okay, that's what it's giving, okay? I like that. Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and Magician. And it looks like some of you guys have been looking for this. This, for me, is like you've been job searching. You've been job hunting, okay? Or some of you guys have been, you know, wanting to um, run across a certain financial um, offer, opportunity, venture, or project, okay? Magician, Knight of Pentacles, and the uh, Six of Pentacles. If you want me to be honest, we have the Magician and the Ace showing up. So some of y'all, you know, literally manifested this, okay? Don't stop believe in that's what it's giving because with the strength card is like you had faith that's what you was walking by not by sight speak to the church okay spirit guys what's happening to the Taurus zodiac in the month of december of 2023 king of pentacles is this the men's reading hey babes with the king of wands Yeah, I'm telling y'all, some of y'all got somebody around you who you can't be happy around. You cannot, you know, things can't be going good for you whenever you're around this person. Or, listen up, sometimes the universe, God, whoever you believe in, sometimes good things won't come to you until you get certain people from around you. Because they don't want you to have to share your, girl, I just heard it, they don't want you to have to share your riches with swine. Ooh. 13, 13 confirmations, they don't want you to have to share that. Because people aren't deserving, okay? Especially if you got people around you who you kind of feel like you can't share your good news with. Like, what? They should be giving you a round of applause whenever something good happens for you. Be honest with yourself, okay? <laughs> when I say this. Some of you guys, it's a good thing that someone rejected you. A fire, a fellow earth sign or a water sign individual, specifically a Sagittarius, a Leo. I don't know why I'm here in Virgo. A Cancer or a Libra. Because they really played themselves, okay? You can't be played. It's like with the Ten of Swords, King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles by someone not... I'm hearing like taking you up on your offer, 1414 confirmations, taking you seriously, um, appreciating you. That's they lost. Three of swords. Because now this person is going to lose out on a good individual, whether it be business wise, romantic wise, friend wise. You the one that carried the ace of pentacles while this person got a page. Isn't that funny? 
Isn't that funny? It's like, how you gonna be stingy with that? How you gonna be stingy and you ain't got shit to offer? That's funny to me. Ooh. The shots. <laughs> Sorry, guys. What's happening to the Taurus Zodiac in the month of December of 2023? Ten of Wands with the Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. The Ten of Wands is going to go with this Ten of Swords. Some of you guys... This for me is like some of you guys were putting your blood, sweat, and tears into a certain situation that didn't even fairly compensate you for it. You know, this for me is like you working too hard for a job that even that ain't even paying you what you're what you're worth. You're working too hard for a certain relationship to where that person ain't willing to do no work with you. Eight of swords, two of swords, and the page of cups. And you ever, you know, eight plus two is like. Damn, is it me? Page of Cups, am I the one that's doing wrong? No, 8 plus 2 equals 10 of swords. 8 minus 2 equals 6 of swords. You're the one that need to move on from this individual because this person is giving you nothing but this person or this situation is giving you nothing but stress, okay? So, why am I here, okay? Why do I still have you around me? Why am I still dealing with this situation? Spirit guys, what's happening? To the Taurus Zodiac in the month of December of 2023. Seven of Cups with the Six of Swords. Sorry, I, that's all my light. Six of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Now, some of y'all could have one foot in, one foot out. Um, it's like you want to be freed of a certain situation, of a certain person, right? But with the Two of Pentacles, you still are finding yourself attached to this person in some sort of way. Six of Cups, there's history. Ten of Cups, there's kids. There's comfort. There's establishment, right? And Taurus, you know you're not the biggest fan of change. It's hard for you to do that, all right? But with the Six of Swords, you are being told that you are needing to make a certain transition from a certain situation, circumstance, or person. Look at it, Ten of Wands. It's like you've reached your limit. 17, 17, confirmations. Seven of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. You're wondering what all is out there or what all is, what all there is other than where you're at, what you're dealing with, what, what you're accepting. What I say, Jupiter expansion all right you're wanting more now that that retrograde now that it's out of retrograde motion and it's going direct yeah okay i want it so you give it spirit guys what's happening to the tour zodiac in the month of december of 2023 hermit virgo energy because you are earth sign i would apply this to you with the sun i'm sorry if y'all can see the lights fucking up whatever I'm also seeing some of you guys are like, I'd rather be alone than keep dealing with a certain situation or deal with someone that with the Ten of Wands, make it hard for me to deal with them, make it hard for me to work with them. What? 1818 confirmations. Son, I'm all about love, peace, and positivity. <laughs> you Some of y'all might consider yourself to be on that hippie shit, okay? Or just someone that you know, like, girl, I'm too old for bullshit. I'm too old for unhappiness, voluntary unhappiness. I'm, girl, I ain't gonna say that. That sounds so morbid. I never know when my last day might be. Some of y'all dramatic as fuck. <laughs> so why waste my time being unhappy, being drained, being exhausted, being stressed? That don't make no sense. So, you call it. You decide to be done with something, okay? Hold up. Spirit guys, what's happening? What's happening to the Taurus Zodiac in the month of December of 2023? The Hierophant. You know who this is? It's your granddaddy. And this is also Taurus energy, okay? Ooh, with the Ten of Cups. Oh, yikes. Ace of Pentacles. 
Ten of Wands and the Hierophant. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. This could have looked like someone getting married, someone getting engaged, someone deciding to commit to someone. But that Ten of Swords is out there. Seven of Cups. It's almost like someone is like, I don't want to be, you know, committed. Not to you. <laughs> it's like, girl, it's not me, it's you, okay? It's like someone here is realizing they don't want to be committed to a certain person anymore or they don't want to be committed to a certain situation anymore. Yeah, here, girl. Here, here go the fucking lights. But we just gonna have to deal with it, okay? Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, Temperance, and the Knight of Cups. Now, some people might find themselves committing to someone in the month of uh, December. It could be with a fire. It could be with a fire sign. Sagittarius is the strongest. A fellow earth sign like a Capricorn or a Virgo. Maybe a water sign, okay? It's like feeling as though you, 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 uh, she, I don't like that. I don't like stuttering. It's like feeling as though you really get somebody and somebody gets you. So you feel as though, yeah, girl, I can see this being a forever team. So like I said, you decide to commit to someone or someone decides to commit to you. Or the flip side, someone here wants to completely separate from someone. Last card, Spirit Guys, what's happening to the Taurus Zodiac in the month of December of 2023? Two of Swords with the Four of Cups. Now, oh God, I hate these lights. Look at it. <laughs> um, two of Swords is about being, this is going to bother me. Two of Swords is about being at that fork in the road. Should you go left? Should you go right? Um, not knowing which direction direction you should take in regards to you letting a certain situation go or being done with a certain situation. All right. Ten minus two equals eight of Swords. And this for me is like sometimes when you don't know what to do, you just get stir crazy. You get all up in your mind. You start panicking. You start um, overthinking things when it's like, girl, it's as simple as you being done. You all up in your head about it. You all in your head. No, sir. Okay. When all you just need to do is call it a quiz. But with the three of pentacles, like I said, Taurus, you're not the biggest fan of change. But whenever you have committed work, time, effort, energy to a certain situation, it's hard for you to just leave that alone. Okay. And this is probably one of your spiritual tests. Being like, you know what, girl, I have committed some time, some effort, some energy to this situation or this person. But with the ten of swords, if it's over, it's over. What am I going to do? Just be here miserable? Yeah, you could do that. Who wants to do that? Okay. I'm so mad at these lights. Uh, real quick, somebody in their feelings because you don't want to deal with them for pinnacles. It could be a water or air sign individual. Or some of y'all, somebody here gonna try that. Why would you leave me? What am I gonna do without you? I'll die without you. Girl, it's a it's a it's a front. It's a flim flam, okay. Girl, they're going to do what they did before they met you. They're going to live, okay? Some of y'all, somebody, somebody here going to play the pity card on you. You decide that you're done. Let's say you decide to be done with a job. Is there anything that we can do, you know? No, bitch. I'm done. Are you sure? Very much so. Thank you. <laughs> or dealing with somebody, you know? I'll do better. Nah, girl. You had your chance, Okay? People want to do good whenever you out. I got to get out of here because the light is bothering me. That was you guys' December monthly reading. Literally any placement of Taurus. Check the chart. Like the video, leave a comment.